Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Betamat Studios, and I wanted to go over the Ultimate Health System. So, what the Ultimate Health System is, is uh, we can drop the script on a bo uh, an object. We drop the health script on an object, and it allows us to control health of this object and do various things. So, right now, right now, I have uh, damage on collision on, and I have a bunch of spheres above this sphere down here, which all have rigid bodies, so they're going to fall and collide with this sphere, and uh, I have a heal with collision on. So uh, what happens here is we can identify what objects hurt the this object, what objects heal it. So uh, if an object has the name drop sphere, bullet, or weight, as you can see this one's called drop sphere, this one's called bullet, and this one's called weight. When those objects hit it, you can see over here I have a bunch of bullets and drop spheres and weights, uh, we're going to damage. And heal if we are hit by a healer, which is somewhere up here. Yeah, there's a few healers up there. So I'm going to press play, and it comes with a built-in health bar, just uh, just because I wanted to add that in. So you can drag in your health bar border and enter. Uh, so uh, I have a kind of grayish border and a green inner. So as health changes, you'll see the health bar move up and down. So I'm going to hit play. You're going to see as objects hit it, it's going to decrement health and when the healing objects hit it, it added health. One more thing that we can do is actually make objects change based off of that. So I have a script on my light, and or no I don't, I now have a script on my light and this script is just going to uh, make this light turn blue and that is called make light blue. Uh, so what I can do is I can select the sphere, I can grab this point light drag it in to the death callback object and I'm going to paste in the name of the function there, make light blue. So if I press play, when the sphere dies, this light will turn blue. There you go, it's turned blue and it's dead. So you can see that it does callbacks as well as uh, other things. So we can affect other things in the world based on when objects die. Uh, you can also see that I have uh, I have destroy me on death, so when my health reaches zero, this sphere will die, and I have destroy others on hit. If I turn that off, uh, the objects will just bounce off of it and just do damage as they bounce on it. So they they won't destroy as you saw before, and obviously if I turn off destroy me, um, then this sphere is not going to be destroyed, even though its health is zero. So there's a bunch of options you can play around with over here in the right side. Um, you can also set the offset for the health bar. So as I move this, you can see it changes in real time in the game view. And also I can turn off attach health bar to object. And then I can have that health bar on the screen somewhere. And it's not attached to the object at all. So I can change the width and height and everything of that. So. Uh, you have flexibility with the, even with the health bar, which was just an added bonus to this health system. So I hope you enjoy it, and if you have any questions, send over your questions to support at beardedmangames.com. And until next time, uh, thanks for thanks for watching.